Breaking news, the Business Secretary Grant Chaps has confirmed the government's decision to back the Sizewell Sea nuclear power plant in Suffolk. Well, in September, Boris Johnson promised £700 million worth of funding for the project. The Business Secretary says nuclear is an important feature of Britain's long-term energy security. One thing I think we can be very proud of is we produce more offshore wind than any other country in the world. Over half of our power, uh, uh, you know, for, for, the, for a day was produced by offshore wind a, a couple of weeks ago. Very significant indeed. But we know the wind doesn't blow all the time. So you've got to have that combination. Uh, we're standing right by one of our nuclear power park plants. This is going to add to that as we see others potentially uh, decommissioned in the years to come. I think that mix, as Energy Secretary, I think that mix of having nuclear, of having wind, of having solar, uh, of having uh, various different forms of power is critically important. Well, our business and economics correspondent, Gurpreet Nawan, is uh, here for more on this. Gurpreet, I guess the key point here is how all this is going to be funded. Yeah, the government confirming the first state-backed nuclear projects in the UK for more than 30 years with a £700 million investment. There have been some doubts in recent months about whether this project would actually go ahead in light of the state of um, the public finances uh, and the government's stated aim to rein in uh, public spending. But the Chancellor in his budget earlier this month confirmed the need for cheap low carbon, reliable energy. It's something uh, he reiterated again today, saying that this project would be the biggest step towards uh, Britain's energy independence. But for all the talk of sovereignty, as you've uh, rightly just pointed out, there are still question marks over how this is going to be funded. That £700 million uh, investment announced by the government today, it's a drop in the ocean when you consider the cost of building something like this. Uh, which could run into 20 to 30 billion pounds, possibly higher um, if you look at uh, the sister project, Tinkley Point C, which is running billions of pounds over, over budget and is taking about a decade longer um, than it was initially expected to do so. Along with EDF, the French energy giant, the government will hold a 50% stake in this project, but that still leaves quite a big shortfall that needs to be found. And that money could come from foreign investors. Initially, China's uh, state nuclear energy was involved in the project, but it's been slowly edged out. The government has, wasn't comfortable with the prospect of uh, Chinese involvement. There have been talks in recent days that the Emirati uh, Sovereign Wealth Fund is eyeing up an investment too. So it's far from a done deal just yet. And crucially for consumers, it will be a while before they benefit from any of this. It could be well into the middle of the next decade before we start seeing any energy from this plant. And in the interim, energy bills will be going up because of a nuclear levy that will be uh, imposed onto household bills somewhere in the region of one to four pounds. So this is very much a long-term solution to an immediate crisis. All right, Gopri, thanks for that.